Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. The next boss is going to be somewhat of a heal and attack affair. It's not incredibly difficult, to be honest. Although that's perhaps because I'm showing up to this part of the game so late. This boss really doesn't have that much to challenge me, honestly. It's Medio and he's got Flare, I guess, and that's all he can do. So I should be able to pretty much use a borderline hold A strat. Okay. Well, he hit me with Medio already. So this is Realm, because I messed around with the controller slots. Realm and Terra are now in the same one, because I want to be able to tell Strago apart from the other two more easily. This is Terra. You morph. This is Gogo. -Go. Do your thing. Not that your thing really makes a difference right now. And... Scroll down to the bottom. Shield is mostly just meant to be sort of like a uh, patch, a band-aid fix, till I can solve the root problem of not having image. <laughs> so... Just gonna throw on shield for now, and then I'll work on image later. All I need to do with uh, my Player 1 controllers is mash A. Well, I guess... Oh, here comes the flare, I guess. I guess I need to get Terra set up first before I can really say that, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... One, two, three. Realm just healed, so I'm probably okay. Just don't want to get Strago and Gogo mixed up, and I'm probably good. So wait, where's Refract again? Is it one below shield, I think? Probably dumb of me not to check this in detail, but... Let's go for Terra first, since she's the most vulnerable. Even in the back row... Terra doesn't have much fun with those physical attacks. This is Gogo. -Go. Actually, it's not going to be that hard to tell them apart anyway by the looks of things, but... Even without... Even... Without moving my cursor around in Strago's menu, I should be able to identify him pretty easily. Realm's next, because she has slightly less HP and... Stamina than the others, so... Oh no, I uh, totally messed that one up. That's like your only attack that does anything, and you just threw it away. Terra doesn't take much long, very long time to make quick work of this guy. That Fire 3 is nasty to his first form even, but way more so to his second form. Strago himself is next. Well, he hit everyone that time, I guess. Hopefully... Ouch. That's not good. Hopefully no one somehow managed to slip a death in there. If not, everyone's probably almost back up to full now. Yeah, everyone's... everyone seems to have taken that nicely. That didn't work at all. Alright. Another chakra. This strategy doesn't need to hold out forever just until the end of the fight. <laughs> There's a good chance that it would fail eventually, but... In, in the time span of the fight, because everyone can survive two Meteos. It's actually a little bit weaker than I thought it was. I thought it was doing 600 damage before. Terra again. Just keep cycling through. <coughs> so, with the region kicking in, everyone can survive two hits, and I'm firing off region X every turn. With Realm, because I can. So why not? 
it, it kind of has fallen into place that I don't even need that each person on a controller slot their turn is coming up right as the other person on that controller slot is using their turn so it's really easy to figure out who is who see realm goes when Terra goes when I have to select realm's command when uh, Terra is busy going and vice versa It's hard for me to form coherent sentences because it's still pretty late, but it doesn't matter if I can form coherent sentences because I think this guy is going down either way. And this isn't this the last attack that I have to actually do on this guy? Yeah. I think Strago, you should go for yourself next. And this form goes even faster because this. Uh, this form is weak to fire, so that's pretty much a death sentence on him. Considering Terra, my glass cannon, is doing her role of a fire. So. So, yeah, image healing. MP healing and damage is just a perfect combination that brings us through this fight with no effort. Especially since my characters have so much magic evade and decent enough HP since I slapped red caps and even the green beret on Realm. Realm's actually got the higher HP by default compared to Realm to Strago and Gogo. -Go. Whoops. Whose turn was that? I hope I didn't do something dumb. No, probably not. This is Gogo. -Go. Let's fire off one Aura Bolt, because it turns out that... Uh, that will do the perfect amount of damage to bring him down one Fire 3 sooner. And now, Strago, you need to use Refract on... It barely even matters. I think it's Gogo -Go that's next in the chain, but doesn't make a difference. Goodbye. <coughs> so yeah, easiest dungeon in a long time. That was some World of Balance crud right there. <laughs> that was... I seriously think I put less effort into that dungeon than Mount Colts, but... Whatever, it had to be done. And now I have Shadow back on my team, who is still at the same level he was at the end of the Floating Continent, so he's a little bit low. He's not going to be putting too much into my team right now, I don't think. It's going to be so hard to keep him alive. But whatever. He doesn't have to perform during the boss fights. As long as he survives the random encounters, he'll get the EXP. I've got enough ice shields going into Narsh. He might not fare it quite as well against the brown dragon or the ancient cave, though. Not having as many characters, but the blue dragon should be a piece of cake, because he's got, like, nothing. Nothing that would challenge me at this point anyway, I don't think. Then again, I might not... I'll, that would probably be more true with this party of mages that I've been bringing to the last couple of places. Because he'd be doing just about diddly squat against this mage team. With their magic defense and refract. I could probably pull off the exact... Literally the exact same strategy against the blue dragon that I just used against Tiamat there. Except Terra would probably need to do something different. It's a shame that I don't have Tri Talk yet, because that's a useful one to. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if I could have actually hit the weakness of Tiamat there, and similarly the blue dragon. But that doesn't seem to be the case, although I don't technically have to bring Terra into the next place that I go. Which I think is the ancient castle, but the votes were pro were pretty close last time I checked with Narsh, so I'm not 100% sure that I won't be going there. I'd much prefer Narsh, because I can actually hit the weaknesses there, and then I'd actually be able to hit the weaknesses in ancient castle after going there, but doing it the other way around might be a bit awkward. Terra's still decent for the ancient castle, but I... Not sure. I might want her for Narsh more, because that Fire 3 spell can do so much damage. Or, on the other hand, I could just use Lock. Decisions, decisions. Either way, I have to bring Shadow. That's a downside. 
I guess. Right now, anyway. All the way left, all the way down. And that's the end of that segment. See you next time. Oh yeah, one last thing I totally forgot. Uh, let's just go get Shadow for two seconds. Completely different day, because I forgot for a bit that, like, even till after I had already read the results of the vote and did all that crud, but I don't even care. Because this is kind of minor, obviously. <laughs> Goodbye, Shadow. I just kind of shoved whatever on Edgar, and that's all I need. I don't even, I'm not even sure if he does anything at all in the Colosseum in this version. I know in vanilla he'll at least like punch you, but I mean who cares, right? Well, that's the end of that. See you next time for reals this time. <laughs>